Streets of Rage 4 is a continuation of Sega's Streets of Rage trilogy, originally released for the Sega Genesis during the 1990s. This game is a side-scrolling beat-em-up in which up to four players locally or two players online fight against waves of enemies, aided by disposable weapons and item pickups. Alongside standard attacks, throws, and blitz moves, each player character has a set of special attacks that can be performed at the cost of some health. Shredder's Revenge is a side-scrolling action brawler with a pixelated art style. In the game, the player assumes control of Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, April O'Neil, Master Splinter, and unlockable character Casey Jones as they combat opponents including the Foot Clan, Krang, Bebop, and Rocksteady, and Shredder in locations ranging from New York City sewers to Dimension X. Castle Crashers is a side-scrolling hack and slash that incorporates a small number of role-playing video game elements. In each stage, the player can use melee and combination attacks. Each character has a unique magical ability and a health meter that, if drained from enemy attacks, will cause the character to fall in battle. In single-player mode, this ends the stage, however, in cooperative multiplayer other players may attempt to revive the down character. Mother Russia Bleeds has beat em up style gameplay often compared to those of Streets of Rage and Double Dragon. The players are set to fight through side-scrolling, stage-by-stage -stage levels, using guns, melee weapons or their bare fists to take out enemies. When killed, some enemies start convulsing. The game can be played in single-player or local multiplayer co-op for up to four players, in the classic arcade campaign, survival, and boss rush modes. The Scott Pilgrim game plays a lot like Streets of Rage or Double Dragon. You wander through city streets and movie sets, fighting a whole bunch of bad guys, ranging from bus drivers to paparazzi. You can jump, punch, and kick, and pick up many objects to use as weapons, whether it's a snowball or a baseball bat. You can also play as most of the main cast of characters, and they each learn some new abilities as you progress. There are even level and character select screens ripped straight out of the 8-bit Super Mario games and Street Fighter-style car-smashing mini-games.